Hello, welcome, and thank you for watching. Today we're going to show that the Compliance West CDT240 Capacitive Discharge Tester conforms to the Accuracy Standard CTL DSH251E and to other governing standards. I'm also going to show why the CDT240 is more accurate than an oscilloscope for this test. The Capacitive Discharge Test is described in IEC 60060 the standard describing high voltage test techniques, and also in many end-use product standards. The test sets criteria for voltages that can exist on the plug blades when a product is unplugged from the wall. IEC 60601-1 Medical Equipment and IEC 60950 Data Processing Equipment have an input impedance requirement of impedance greater than 100 megohms and capacitance of 20 plus or minus 5 picofarads. The CDT240 is in compliance with this requirement. Please reference our manual for further information on this point. None of the standards specify voltage or time tolerances, so the requirements of CTL DSH251E will apply. The CDT240 is in accordance with CTL DSH251E for time tolerance. As you can see from the slide, the CDT240 was designed to meet these requirements and has identical specifications. CTL DSH251E specifies that for voltages up to 1000 volts at frequencies up to 1 kHz, the measuring accuracy is plus or minus 1.5% of the measuring range, which is the full scale range of the measuring instrument. The CDT240 meets this requirement. In addition, the CDT240 capacitive discharge tester holds a tolerance of plus or minus 2% of reading plus or minus 0.8 volts up to 381 volts DC to 60 Hz. This rating yields a great accuracy advantage when reading the results of the capacitive discharge test, and I'll show you why in the next two slides. This chart shows the DSH251E measurement error in red and the CDT240 measurement error in blue. The challenge of reading accurate results for the capacitive discharge test is due to the large plus and minus 400 volt peak to peak scale being needed to read the 240 volt RMS AC mains waveform and the comparatively low voltage of the test results. This leads to large errors for scopes, especially at the critical pass fail voltage measurement point, but the CDT240 remains accurate throughout the range. This slide shows the vertical gain accuracy for a few scopes, and this information is typical of laboratory scopes, which in general are not accurate when used to read voltage. Four of the scopes here have DC accuracy in the 1.5 to 2% of full scale range. The fluke looks promising as the error is a percentage of the reading, but on the plus and minus 400 volt range, the overall error is plus or minus 1.5% of reading plus or minus 4 volts, which results in almost 10% error when reading 50 volts peak. Keep in mind that the voltage requirement of CTL DSH251E is plus or minus 1.5% of full scale. And also please note that only two of these scopes are in compliance even with the relatively relaxed DSH251E tolerances for voltage measurement. Any of these scopes will return large reading errors when conducting the capacitive discharge test because again, the required range to read the AC sinusoid is large, plus or minus 400 volt peak, and the required test result is small, 34 to 126 volts peak. The 8-bit A to D converters used in these scopes do not allow good accuracy for reading these small voltages. The CDT240, by way of its 10-bit A to D converter and being purpose designed to conduct this test, can deliver accurate results down to a trigger voltage of 30 volts, which is low enough to conduct any capacitive discharge test. The bottom line is that oscilloscopes are great for measuring high frequency signals and capturing how voltages change over time. However, they are not designed to measure voltages with a high degree of accuracy. Since the DSH251E and most scopes use a percent of full scale error specification, any measured voltage is allowed to have the same voltage error. 
This leads to inaccurate results for the low pass-fail threshold voltages of the capacitive discharge test. This error ranges from plus or minus 9.5% in the best case at 126 volts for IEC 60950 to a worst case error of 35% at 34 volts for IEC 60335-1, assuming a plus or minus 400 volt range. This is within the tolerance of CTL DSH251E, but not within common sense error tolerance of say plus or minus 5% as stated in various standard tests with stated tolerance limits. Since the CDT240 tolerance is specified as a percentage of voltage reading, not a percentage of the voltage range, it retains accuracy of plus or minus 2% of reading plus or minus 0.8 volts throughout its full range which is well within both CTL DSH251E and other stated tolerance requirements. Capacitive discharge testing requires reading a small voltage inside a large range, and the accuracy of reading this signal is affected if instrument tolerance is specified as a percentage of full range. Since most oscilloscopes treat their vertical amplitude accuracy this way, accuracies can be well out of reasonable limits. The CDT240 Purpose-built for this test with its 10-bit A to D converter is the only accurate solution. The CDT240 is available direct from Compliance West or from any of our distributors worldwide. Use our online store or contact us at sales at compwest.com. If you have any questions or comments about this presentation, please contact me directly, Jeff Lind, that's Jeff at compwest.com and please visit us at www.compless.com and thank you for watching.